Hey guys, uh, Roberto here. I'm just going to uh, show you a very simple trading strategy that's only possible because of banks uh, closing out at the end of the day. So that's in this particular trade we're talking about um, the European session closing around anywhere from 8.30 to 11.30 a.m. Eastern. Okay. This strategy takes advantage of the fact that bankers are required to close and balance their transactions by the end of each business day. So as a trader, you can use this requirement to your advantage. When banks encounter days with very high volume and really high volatility, um, the result is large number of orders and the banks are legally uh, required to balance their books each day, which can lead to a, you know, a huge scramble at the last hour or so of the business day because they need to register properly and balance everything out. So as a currency trader, you can actually watch this take place. And more importantly, you can watch the perfect trade opportunity unfold before your eyes. So banks, they begin to tally and close out their books of the day and make sure that each buy transaction has been matched with a sell counterpart. And this daily accounting can include things like um, winning and losing trades throughout the trading day. Um, and it also is the last hour of the business day when margin calls and other odds and ends from day trading all reach settlement and are closed out. So this presents traders with an opportunity to take advantage of a, of a squeeze play that forces the banks to act in a way to reconcile their balance sheets. Okay, so buy orders are matched with sell orders, high volume, high volatility trading day means that bankers, you know, they have to work quickly to make sure that everything balances out. And this gives us the potential to make a high probability trade if you can identify which direction the bankers are forced to move. But fortunately, that's the easy part. So what we're going to use is price action, a Bollinger Band, and a stochastic indicator to show us what, at, and also the time of day, anywhere from 8.30 to 11 o'clock in the morning Eastern, to see where this is happening. So uh, we're looking at the Euro New Zealand dollar, and in Euro New Zealand dollar was in a really strong downtrend, exceeded its daily range, high volume, high volatility, and around this time of day, um, uh, banks are balancing their books, and you can see it in price action. Price broke below the Bellinger bands, the Cassix is oversold. We have an inside bar, and the next candle broke above the inside bar, and that's our entry. And usually these trades last a couple of hours. This one um, continue to rally from 11 o'clock, 8.30, 11 o'clock in the morning, and put in about 50 pips of the upside. Um, let's look at Euro dollar. The same thing on the Euro dollar. Look on the five minute chart. Um, market pretty much sold off. And then around, around here, it started. Price broke below the Bollinger Band. Here was the bullish engulfing candles. The Cassix is oversold. And price rallied for about 50 pips also to the upside. So that's pretty much it. That's the, the trade. You just have to make sure you have um, a Bollinger Band stochastics indicator. Well, watching this, tr uh, this trend, this trade unfold anywhere from 8.30 to 11 o'clock Eastern. So let's switch over to a one hour chart and notice that even on the one hour chart, you could have still entered the trade, just wait for the one hour chart to close. Notice that Euro New Zealand dollar exceeded its daily range, 205 pips. This is anywhere from 8.30 to 11 o'clock Eastern. Price below broke below the Bollinger Band, even on the one hour chart. Stochastic is oversold and market retraced 50 pips. So that's it for the tutorial. If you have any questions, email me. I'll see everyone in the trade room tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern.
Have a good trading week.